and welcome to today's Dynamo lesson. Today we're going to be looking at schedules and quantity takeoffs. Now, a common issue that I seem to find in today's industry is that clients wish to have a fast turnaround time on visualization as well as numerical figures behind different materials inside of the project. Now, what I'm trying to achieve here is um, show you a much easier way of being able to export your actual information through Dynamo into an Excel document rather than using the traditional methods of um, going to a schedule exporter and filtering it all out. So what I'm going to be explaining today is just using the very basic Revit architectural model which comes as a preset for every sample model inside of Revit. The issue that we have with our client is that we want to have a change between our concrete walls on the first floor and our timber cladding on the ground floor. Now the design is all there, but it's more about the cost factor as well as the support that's going to be ha needed when we're going to level above. So what I've gone and done is I've set up two design options, which you can see right here. One is for timber cladding on the ground floor with concrete walls on level one, and the other one is concrete walls on the ground floor and timber cladding on level um, one. I've also adjusted the mullions as well as the glazing type to just show you a bit more of an aspect of what we can achieve out of here and how fast we can have a turnaround on our cost factor. So the first thing is first, we need to make sure that everything has a unique name behind it as well as isolate inside the view. So if we go into the concrete walls and we just turn on to our design option one, you'll notice that everything that isn't a part of this design option is grayed out, which is perfect. So we just have a look down here and we'll just select our timber wall. Now you can see over in my properties bar, it says option one. I've also made one for option two. Just makes it a lot easier just to clear and filter it out as we need it to be. The same goes for the concrete walls. Now for the actual curtain walls, I've just named them as a powder coat mullion and also a timber mullion. And then for our glazing, we have single glazing, as we, sorry, we have double glazing as well as triple glazing, like so. Now, the easiest and funnest part about this is that the skeleton's already set up. So all you need to do is just go in and change a couple of the properties behind it and you have a full on Excel document within five minutes. So I'm just gonna open up the script which you can find in the download link below. And here we are. So the first ones I've done over here is a timber mullion with the varnish finish. This is for our option two. And we have powder coat mullion, which is our option one. Now, the way that we can go about it is pretty much what we do is we select the category that we want to pick, which is the curtain wall mullions itself. Then we're going and getting all the elements of the category inside the project, and then we're filtering it by its type name. Now, seeing that this is set up as timber mullion varnish finish, it's pretty much good to go straight from the bat. What we do here is just make sure that we only get the items that we want out of this. We don't want to bring in the powder coat or anything else like that. Next factor that we come from here is the type as well as the length. Now the reason why we're using the length option in this situation um, it, instead of areas is that mullions always come pre-sized, whether it be 50 mils by 100 mils, 150 by 50, or 250 by 100. So all we want is the length.